Hello, I'm Cynthia Britton. I'd like to welcome you to my studio today. It's in Laguna Canyon, Laguna Beach, California. I've been here working both plein air and in the studio for about 20 some odd years. I can't believe it, it's gone really fast. And uh, this is where I started painting with the other co-founders of La Papa, painting plein air and where it all started. So there's a nice history and uh, a nice legacy here in uh, Laguna Beach. And I'm very proud to be a part of La Papa and I welcome you to visit my studio. I'm gonna show you some of my paintings and how I work and kind of how I organize and set things up. It also functions as a gallery. I have shows here and I teach here privately and also uh, workshops, both plein air and studio workshops. As you come into the studio, I have this wall opposite the credenza and I've got paintings. Oh, they're double hung. And then there's paintings here on the rail. And um, as we walk in, I've got a little setup here for paintings that are finished but not framed. Okay, this is a large piece. It's 40 by 60. And it's a painting of Venice, the bridges, or a bridge in Venice with the gondolas. And I was really interested in that scene and painted it from photos and a small painting from my trip there. Okay. And over here in this corner, I've got a figurative piece. I like to work with models in the studio. And I have a little chaise over here set up for models. And then there's a couple of large landscape pieces here. This one's from Little Sycamore, which is oh, about a mile down the road and the autumn, and this is about as much color as we get in Laguna, as far as seasonal color. This is a piece I'm working on for a show that I'm putting together for the fall and they're all paintings from France, uh, mostly Normandy, a few from Paris. This one is from Enfleur, and these boats are about 150 years old. It's a beautiful, beautiful little village if you've never been there, cobblestone streets, and it's awesome. It dates back to the time of Alexander the Great. It's about a thousand years old. So it's one of my favorite spots in Europe. This is just some pieces on the easels. This is a still life. This area is an area where I like to sit to look at my work. And it's also a place where collectors can sit if they come in to look at paintings, they can be comfortable and have a cup of tea or a glass of wine. Monet said the most important piece of equipment in an artist's studio is a comfortable chair. I tend to agree. And this large painting is 48 by 48 on my easel right now. And it's a painting from many trips to Giverny and Monet's Pond. It is a work in progress, so it's not quite finished, but it's getting close. This painting is on my um, Easy L setup. This is what I use to paint outdoors. It's a Pichard box, and um, I'm working from some photos and also from some sketches. And it's a little village scene, and again, it's just kind of started here. And you can see my palette. I have cool colors on the right, warm colors on the left, so I can paint across the palette and mix, which is perfect um, for me. Um, this is my other palette, and so you can see it's quite large. It's a big palette, and I use this big palette when I work on big paintings. So it gives me a lot of mixing room, and I don't have to, you know, feel um, cramped. These paintings on the rail are all paintings getting ready for the show in France. This painting is a painting of the valley. Um, I was up high in the hills in Giverny and looking down the valley where the Seine and the Epte River meet. 
um, to the one to the left, and the one to the right is behind the Bodhi. Um, this one's still getting finished up, and this one's from Anfleur, the place where the boats are from. This old carousel dates back to the 1800s. And again, you know, these are all kind of works in progress. I like to have them on the rails so I can look at them over time and, and continue to work on them. Some of my art books. Um, this area underneath the big um, pallet, mixing area is just a storage area for things that I need. And this is another area where I have some a couple of local scenes from Laguna and then another piece from Carmel. I love Carmel and Point Lobos. That's another area I really love to paint in. Um, I found that when I, I got the studio, it bothered me to be painting and looking at the computer because I felt like I should be doing things on the computer. And when I was working at the computer and doing emails and things, I felt like I should be painting. So I added this wall, actually two walls, to give me some separation here. And um, it's worked out really well. I have a little file cabinet here. I have another little cabinet where I have things stored. This is a little painting I painted in France. And it's a painting of an old chapel there dedicated to Mary Magdalene. And it dates back to about the 14th century. And I, I just really, uh, enjoyed painting it so this will probably go in the show um, and then this is a larger painting of a hotel room actually not a hotel it's a room in a chateau where I conduct my workshops it dates back to the 15th century also it's beautiful and uh, I think there's some photos of it on my website and then this is a painting from the montage from the famous keyhole I hope that you've enjoyed the tour and I hope you have a beautiful day and keep painting and enjoying your painter's life. I know that I sure am and I appreciate it every day. So thank you so much for coming and going on the tour.